Well, hello everyone. My name is Dar Rath. I'm the pastor at Faith Lutheran Church in Port Elgin, Ontario. And for two years during the COVID shutdown, I would send out little brief messages by email and people seem to really enjoy them. And so now I have the opportunity to record the messages. And these uh, stories uh, the messages are written by some pretty brilliant people. And so I am asking you to just take five minutes and I'll read a story each week. So here's the story for this week. It's actually an anonymous author and it's in a book called Flowers in the Wind by Reverend Robert Coos. So here's the story. Once there was a ship at sea, and the members of the crew took turns every day keeping the ship's log. One day, the ship's first mate was tempted by others to take a drink of rum. Because he had never drunk alcohol before, he did not know how to control his drinking, and soon he became quite inebriated. Unfortunately, the captain of the ship learned about the incident, and because that happened to be the captain's day to maintain the ship's log, he wrote, Mate drunk today. The mate begged the captain to take this notation out of the ship's log, for he knew it would be a black mark on his record and could hurt him in his future career. The captain knew very well that this was the mate's first offense, and he also knew the grave harm that could befall the mate when the owners of the ship read the entry. However, the captain was a very rigid man, a rule worshiper, so to speak. So he refused to change what he wrote. He told the mate, this is the fact and into the log it goes. Some days later, as the ship continued on its voyage, it was the mate's turn to keep the log. So after giving the latitude and longitude, the run for the day, the wind and the sea, he made this entry, Captain Sober Today. Naturally, the captain was indignant and he said that this statement would leave an altogether false impression in the minds of the owners of the vessel, as if it were an unusual thing for him to be sober. The mate, however, simply told the captain, this is the fact, and into the log it goes. Well, needless to say, both the mate and the captain could have had their reputations harmed because of what was written. So what can we learn from this story? Reverend Coos writes this. There's an ancient filter system called the three gates test, which requires a potentially harmful tale to be put through three gates or tests before speaking or writing it. Number one, is it true? Number two, is it necessary? Number three, is it kind? These three filters show wisdom, prudence, and charity. And today, with speed and breadth of the internet and other forms of social media, this is truer than ever before in history. Today, we can defame the character of others with a simple click of a send button. And just as we cannot begin to collect loose feathers flying in the wind, we can rarely completely take back defamatory statements we have made to harm others. As we continue on our journey this week, hmm, let's think about how we use our words in our emails, in our texts, and verbally. It really is a challenge for all of us. So click on next week and I'll have another story written by another amazing author. It's truly a privilege for me to share their brilliance. So watch for the link and blessings on your day. Thanks for taking five.